Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm going to keep going in uh, Tales from Atlantis by uh, Hannah Carlson and we're going to finish off this, or almost finish off this page. We'll see how far we can get. So I'm going to start on one of these little seahorses on the side and I'm back now to using my polychromos. We used Albrecht Dura watercolor pencils for the background but I'm going to use similar colors for these little seahorses here so I'm going to just do the one seahorse here on the left you can go ahead and do each step of these onto the right seahorse if you want to all of the pencils will be listed down in the description box below if you want to get them out before you start so I'm just starting here with a little base layer of my light magenta. I'm not going all the way out those little, I don't want to call them feathery bits, but on the head there, those little dangly ends. <laughs> I don't know what I want to call those, but I'm just going in very lightly with a nice sharp pencil and I'm just layering down. I'm going to use lots of layers with this one with lots of different colors and hopefully we can create some nice effects and get some nice depth of color as well. So going in now with a little bit of the light purple pink, I'm leaving a tiny little bit of an edge there between the outline and where I'm putting down this color. I want to have a little bit of like a highlighty kind of outline on this one just to have it like, like it's a little bit of light coming from behind. So I'm just going to leave that little bit of an lighter sort of edge where we just have that light magenta and I'm just working my way very slowly using lots of light layers and just building up my color it's easier to add color than to take it away so that's why I like to use lots of layers and going in nice and light So I'm starting here on the body and just layering down my color sort of around these little center little fins on the side here. You can also see that on the body and down towards the tail there's like a little bit of a center line and I'm going to start layering color from there. I want to keep the, the top of the back fairly free of color for now. I want to go in with like maybe like a yellow or cream or something in there just as a bit of a shine and like a highlight so I'm gonna have my darker colors sort of down that center line and around the fins and then I'm gonna make the fins I'm thinking a little bit lighter but with a nice little blend of lots of different colors
I'm going to go ahead now and just start putting in a little bit of those lighter areas so I'm going to go in with my cream to start with I might go in with a slightly darker one afterwards we'll see how this goes first and I'm just going to go along the sort of the ridge of the back here and sort of all the way down I'm thinking of probably adding some of this into the some of the fins as well and then building up some cool sort of play on colors especially the colors that we're using on the background i think that's going to look really nice on these fins
so I'm building my way up in my color ranges here so we're going into with the fuchsia which is another slightly darker color again and again I'm just going alongside a lot of the outlines here for the fins and I'm going to go along that center line again and I'm just sort of wanting to start adding a bit more depth but I'm, I don't want to go too far out because I want to make sure that I still have some areas that I can play with if I want to add in some more of the colors from the background that would be cool to layer in here just to just get a bit more play on colors and prevent it from looking just flat and sort of monotone now I mentioned this before in several other videos but if you're new here I use a very very light hand now if you find that that's difficult for you to and you find that you're putting down too much pressure like I'm literally just tickling the paper very gently and layering down the color so I'm not flattening the tooth at all I'm just building on what's there but you can to help you lightening your hand lightening your hand a little bit you can hold the pencil further back the further back on the barrel that you're holding it the lighter your pressure have to be if not you're going to lose control of that pencil so you can start out that way if you're finding it hard to use that light hand that's needed. So I'm just going to start now with the little fins here, adding this little cobalt turquoise. I love this color together with the pink tones. They really complement each other well. And it's also a good color to layer on top of the pink for a bit of shadows as well. They do blend really nicely together. So you don't necessarily need to have a huge amount of pencils to get a really good mix. You can blend these tones of the, and these hues that I've got almost infinite. Like you can use the yellows and the blues together and you can get your greens. You can have like you can get your purples, your violet tones and your oranges and everything just be the colors that we're using today.
The bluish turquoise has got a really nice colour to it. It's more on the blue side compared to our last one which got, which got a little bit more of that green 
tinge to it but this one is really nice starting to map out more of my shadows with this one going up and it's just going to make our blue sort of turquoisey tones slightly more pronounced and I'm just going to add in I'll probably add in a bit more later on I'm going to go in with my Sakura Jelly Roll a bit later as well and get rid of some outlines and I'll probably then end up adjusting a lot of the things that I'm doing now it's always a good thing to do that removal of those outlines sort of halfway through because you're going to give get a bit more of an indication of where you need to adjust some, sh some shadows and things I have a feeling that once even though it might look all right now but once I get rid of those outlines I think we're probably going to need to have more contrast added in just to make the have the picture make sense So I want a little bit of a darker yellow, not like dark yellow, but darker than the cream. So I'm going in with this light cadmium yellow over where we did the cream layers before. I just want to make sure that we get a bit of that glow on the ridge of the back here. And I think that's going to look really nice when we remove the outlines later. We're going to get a nice little curvage. We're going to have bit of a glow on the back there with a bit of a light source maybe coming from sort of somewhere behind or even the shell itself I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the color of the shell yet whether I want to make it like a gold sort of tone or if I want to go with the pinky purpley tones like I'm doing here I'll have to wait and see I'll probably do that in like the last part three I think we'll just do the little seahorses today
so I think we're about halfway now on these little seahorse so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those black outlines just to give me an indication of where I need to add more shadows where I need more contrast and things like that to have this little seahorse make sense and it does as you can see it will make it look more 3d by not having those outlines it just gives it a bit of a softer look and like and you can, actually you can notice I'm using my 08 size today it's I think this will work a little bit better on this I want I don't mind too much if there's a bit of white showing through as a bit of a highlight here I think that will be quite fine the 05 that I tend to use I think will be slightly too fine for this I'll have a bit too much of the black shining through so I'm, I'm going with the 08 this time just to lay down a little bit more of that white
now this is my light cobalt turquoise it's sort of partially rubbed off but that's the one and I'm just sort of gonna have a look around I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the fins I'm thinking and I might even add just a tiny bit to some of the background just underneath the head I just feel like it's looking a little bit flat there and just using this pencil on top of the watercolors that we did will just help bring it to life just that little bit more and have a bit more texture so I'm just adding this into sort of almost on top of where I did the white just before and I'm just going in very nice and gently I try not to rub out too much of that jelly roll and as you can see just looking at the fins and things now you can see that there's definitely places I'm gonna to have to add in a little bit, bit more shadow some darker colors just to get that contrast between the fins and the main body Now I'm noticing that that little last part on the body before we just hit the tail here it's almost disappeared after we remove the outlines so I'm just going in there with a bit of magenta just to darken it up enough that it'll show up so I'm just layering it especially down the bottom here and I'm still having that light sort of yellow area there but see there that's showing up so much better and just having a look now just checking to see where there's anywhere else I might need to add some bits and pieces I'm just sort of going a bit here and a bit there so look at your picture to see if you're following along to see where where does it not make sense once you remove those outlines and just go in very gently add some light light layers again you can always add more you can't really take it away as easily so go in light and just keep adding until you're happy.
So I'm just going to get started on these little pearls in the mouth here. So I'm just going in very gently with a small layer of a little creamy tone here. I'm not going in hard and then I'm going to remove outlines. We're going to add in just like a little bit. I'm thinking like some pinky, maybe some pinky or some blue tones in there. Very light. It doesn't have to be a lot. I reckon once we get remove the outlines and things and we're going to make it really cool. I'm going to make the, um, the little string if you want and the little clasps and things on this main pearl thing. I'm going to make that into a gold. So I'm just going to start by adding a little bit of the walnut brown here as my shadow. I just want to make sure that I have a bit of an, a difference here between my darks and my lights. So I decided to go in with my darks first. I don't always do that, but sometimes I just feel like I want a more sort of dark, really dark area and you can go in with your darks first then, but just be careful. So I'm just going to bring out my dark Naples ochre. Sorry, the light was really bad at the moment and I was nearly, I couldn't get enough light to really show the color names. I will just let you know if I can't, if it doesn't really show up on the camera. So I'm just sort of layering this on top of the walnut and just down. And you can always add in if you want. You can use a bit of the Sakura Jelly Roll if you want like a little spot of a white highlight later on if you want to. So I'm just adding this here and then I'm going to go ahead I might add in a little bit of the Sienna, like the Burnt Sienna as well. I like that one with doing golds it works really well with those ochre colors and it produces a really nice gold tone so i'm adding a bit of that So for this big main pearl, I'm going to start out with a little bit of rose carmine and then I'm going to use a bit of the light cobalt turquoise, I think. It just sort of, I'm starting on the outer edges, I'm going in super, super light and I'm going to leave a bit of a highlight in the center. If you go and look up some pearls, um, just go Google, Google pearls and go on images and you'll kind of see, you can use those pretty easily just to sort of get some ideas on how to put the colors down for that. For these little pearls here, I'm not going too crazy. I'm just making sure I got like a little tiny little variety of some colors here. And I might add a little bit of magenta, maybe just a super light layer of it. Just, you see where that little line is on the inside there? That'll be a good spot just to add a little bit of extra color. So I'll add a little bit of magenta there, I think, just to have, sort of accentuate that little area there. And then I'm going to go and remove those outlines.
so I just spotted that there's a little bit of a bubble just sitting there on so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the light magenta on there and then I'm just gonna remove the outline make it a little bit white and that will give a little bit of a more natural bubble look so I'm just finishing off these outlines and when I'm done with that then we're actually done with this little seahorse I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera in between this video and the next but this is now where we're at a little bit better lighting here now and you can really see how these colors work together I'm really happy with how this is looking so far and I'm gonna to have to have a big think of what I'm gonna do with this um, shell in the middle. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to pop them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. I wish you all a colorful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.